Hi everyone, I'm Amanda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Rubina Rainbow Baby Blanket. This crochet baby blanket is made up using the super easy lemon peel stitch. This stitch has a lovely texture. It's slightly raised, which makes it a great project for blankets and other crochet items. It's really easy to make this blanket up. You just have to repeat one row and it's made up of alternating single crochet and double crochet stitches. I finished my blanket off with a simple border made up of four rounds. The first three rounds are made up of single crochet stitches through the back loop only. And the fourth round is a really simple bobble stitch border which is made up of alternating slip stitches and double crochet stitches. For this baby blanket I used Paint Box Yarns Simply Aran, which is a category 4 worsted weight yarn. And I used 7 colours in total. And for the crochet hook, I used a J hook, which is a 6mm. The colours that I used for this blanket are purple, pink, orange and white, yellow, green and blue. I'll put the exact details and links to all these materials in the description box below. You can make this baby blanket in whatever size you like. Just make sure that your foundation chain is an odd number. To begin, grab colour A and make a chain of 85. For row 1, you're going to work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So counting 1 and 2 into that second chain, make one single crochet. And then into the next chain, you're going to work one double crochet. So into the next chain here, make one double crochet. We're now going to work on the row repeat. So to do this, you're going to work one single crochet into the next chain. and then work one double crochet into the following chain. And this is going to be the row repeat. So you'll work one single crochet into the next chain and one double crochet into the following chain. I'll do this with you one more time. Work one single crochet into the next chain. And then work one double crochet into the following chain. So you're going to repeat this sequence of stitches all the way along to the end of row 1. I'm nearly at the end of row 1 and I'll just work the last two stitches with you. 
So you'll work one single crochet into the second last stitch and then into the last chain work one double crochet and at the end of each row for this blanket your last stitch will always be a double crochet stitch as you can see, I'm just working up a little sample for this video, but if you're working the full size baby blanket, you will have 84 stitches at the end of row one. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're then going to work one single crochet into the same stitch. So right in here, at the base of the chain one, work one single crochet. You're then going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. So in here. We're now going to work on the row repeat. So this will be the same as row one. You'll work one single crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the following stitch. So I'll do this with you. Work one single crochet into the next stitch and then work one double crochet into the following stitch. And you're going to repeat this sequence of stitches all the way along to the end of row two. I'm nearly at the end of row two and I'll work the last two stitches with you so you'll work one single crochet into the second last stitch and you'll finish the row by working one double crochet into the last stitch. And at the end of row two, you'll have 84 stitches. Continuing with the same colour, you're going to work rows three, four and five by repeating row two. So work three more rows and I'll show you how to change colours at the end of row five. I've nearly finished working my five rows in the first colour and we're going to work the last stitch a little bit differently because this is where we'll be changing colours. So we'll make our double crochet into the last stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And instead of pulling a loop through the remaining two loops. At this point, we'll grab our new yarn. We'll pop it over our hook like so, and we'll pull the loop through the remaining two loops. And this is how you introduce a new color. Then we'll chain one, turn our work and working over the yarn tail here, we'll repeat row two. So we'll single crochet into the first stitch here.
then double crochet into the next stitch and we'll basically repeat row 2 in the new colour again for a total of 5 rows I've worked my 5 rows in the second colour and I'll just show you one more time how to change colours so with the last stitch we'll work our double crochet up until the point where we've got two loops remaining so yarn over insert your hook into the last stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops then grab the new yarn pop it over your hook and pull the loop through the last two loops like so and you're now ready to start working in the new colour so as I said earlier this is a really simple pattern you're simply going to repeat row 2 throughout the entire pattern and you're going to work five rows in each colour so you'll work five rows of the purple followed by five rows of pink then five rows of orange then five rows of white and then five rows of the yellow green blue and then white and you'll repeat this sequence twice more So you'll start with the purple, then the pink and the orange, white, yellow, green, blue, and then white. And then you'll repeat it one more time. So purple, pink, orange, white, and yellow, green, and blue. And you'll finish with the, the blue colour. Once you've finished working your blanket up and you've weaved all your ends in, we'll begin working on the border. So come to the top right hand corner of your blanket and into the first single crochet, attach the yarn. chain one and then into the same stitch make one single crochet and I'm just going to place a stitch marker into that first single crochet stitch because that's where we'll be slip stitch slip stitching into at the end of the round and then along the top of your blanket, you're going to work one single crochet into each stitch. I've worked my single crochet stitches along the top of the blanket and into the last stitch, because it's a corner, we're going to work two single crochet. So there's one single crochet. And then into the same stitch, we'll work another single crochet. We're now going to work down the side of the blanket. So into each block of colour we'll place five single crochet stitches so we'll have five down here five into the next block and so on so I'm going to put one single crochet in here and then another one in here
And then I'm going to put one in here. Then one in here. And then another one in here. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Then moving on to the next block of color, I'm going to put one in here. And then one in here. One in here. The next one here. And then one in here. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Moving on to the next block. I'll put one in here. The next one in here. One in here. The next one in here. And the final one here. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And you're going to place five single crochet into each block of color all the way down the first side of the blanket. When you've finished working your single crochet stitches down the first side of the blanket, into the next corner, you're going to work two single crochet. And then along the bottom of the blanket, you're going to work one single crochet into each stitch. So this is your foundation chain row. So continue working one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom and I'll meet you at the next corner. I've been working my single crochet stitches all the way along the foundation row. And I've come to the next corner, so again I'll work two single crochet into the corner. And then up the other side of the blanket, we'll work our single crochet stitches. So we'll work in the same manner as we did for the first side. We'll place five single crochet stitches into each block of colour. I've just finished working my single crochet stitches up the side of the blanket and I've come to the end of round one. What we'll do is work two single crochet into the corner stitch here. and then remove the stitch marker and then into the first single crochet we'll join with a slip stitch. And 
and that's the end of round one. For round two, you're going to chain one. And then we're going to work back loop only single crochets into each stitch all the way around the blanket. So into the first stitch here, we'll work a single crochet into the back loop only. And I'll get my stitch marker and put it into that first back loop only single crochet because this is the stitch we'll be slip stitching into at the end of the round. And then for this round, we'll be working our single crochet into the back loop only all the way around the blanket. So you've got the front loop here. We'll be working our single crochets into the back loop. When you get to the corners of your blanket, you'll work two single crochet through the back loop only into the corner stitch. So we've got our first corner here. So I'll work two single crochet through the back loop only into the corner stitch. And then you'll continue to work your single crochet into the back loop only, all the way down the side of the blanket. You'll work another two single crochet into the corner stitch and you'll work in this manner all the way around the blanket until you get to the end of the round. I've just come to the end of round two and into the last stitch here I'm going to work two single crochet through the back loop only. And that's our last corner made. And then I'll remove the stitch marker and into the first single crochet that we made, I'll join the round with a slip stitch and that's the end of round two. For round three you're going to repeat round two so you'll begin by chaining one and then into that same stitch here through the back loop only you'll make one single crochet Grab my stitch marker. And then I'll work single crochets through the back loop only into each stitch all the way along to the corner. And in the corner, I'll work two single crochet into the corner and then work one single crochet through the back loop only until I get to the next corner and I'll repeat this all the way around the blanket until I get to the end of the round. I've just come to the end of round three 
and into the last stitch here I'm going to work two single crochet through the back loop only. So there's one and then another one. And that's our last corner made. And then I'll remove the stitch marker and into the first single crochet under both loops I'll join with a slip stitch. And that's the end of round three. For round four, which is the final round of the border, you're going to chain one and then turn your work. And this chain one counts as your first stitch. And then into the next stitch, you're going to work one double crochet. And I'm just going to pop a stitch marker into the chain one as we'll be slip stitching into the chain one to join the round at the end. And then into the next stitch I'm going to work one slip stitch. Into the next stitch work one double crochet. And then a slip stitch into the next stitch. A double crochet into the next stitch and you're going to work in this way all the way around the blanket so you'll work one slip stitch into the next stitch then a double crochet slip stitch a double crochet and repeat this sequence of stitches all the way around the blanket until you get back to the, the beginning of the round. And I just want to point out that for this round, you'll be working your slip stitches and double crochet stitches under both loops. So both loops as normal. And the reason why we turn the blanket at the end of round three is so that when the right side the pretty side of your blanket is facing outwards. You can see the bobble stitches are prominently sticking out on the right side of the blanket. The lemon peel stitch is reversible, so it looks the same on both sides. But because we're working a border, the right side will be um, the, the pretty side of the border. You can see it's flat and then the wrong side is the back side of the border. So when we turn it round to the right side, you can see the bobbles are pronounced. I've just come to the end of round four. I've worked my last stitch. So I'll remove the stitch marker and into the chain one that we made at the beginning, I'll join with a slip stitch. And that's the end of round four and the end of your border. So you'll grab your scissors, cut your yarn and weave in your end. And this is what the border looks like when it's all completed. So you can see the bobble stitches and you can see where we've made the single crochet through the back loops only. We've got two little ridges here. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos that I upload. Thanks for watching.